Hey, what's up guys? I got the new iPhone 12 mini here. I'm gonna show you how to set it up step by step. And we'll also go ahead and put in my SIM card at the end of the video, okay? So first thing is first, make sure your phone is powered on. You just wanna go ahead and slide up like this. Now go ahead and choose your language. I'm gonna go with English. Then go ahead and choose your country or region. I'm in the United States. I'm gonna tap on that. If you have another previous iPhone, you can go ahead and bring it near this iPhone to sign in and set up. Or if you want to do everything from a clean slate and start everything back over, you can just go ahead and tap on Set Up Manually. Go ahead and choose your home Wi-Fi network. Mine is right here. Go ahead and enter your password. After you enter your password, tap on Join. Hopefully that's the correct password. All right. Now give this a few minutes to activate the iPhone here. All right, so data and privacy, click, click on continue. You can go ahead and set up your face ID now if you wish, or you can set, set this up later. I'll probably just set it up later. So we'll just tap on set up later in settings. You need to go ahead and enter your passcode so that you can unlock your phone to get in. So go ahead and choose a six digit uh, passcode or pin. After you put in your code, you're gonna to have to go ahead and put it in again. It's my second time. Now give it one second here. Now from here, you can go ahead and transfer your apps. You can restore from, if you have an iCloud backup or you can restore from your uh, Mac or uh, PC, Windows computer, or you can transfer directly from uh, your older iPhone or you can move data from an Android phone, even an Android phone, or what we're gonna do is it's a clean slate. Don't transfer apps and data. Let me go ahead and tap on that right there. Go ahead and enter your Apple ID, your uh, email. If you don't have one, you need to go ahead and create one, all right? After you put in your Apple ID, go ahead and click on next. Now it's asking for a password. After you put in your password, go ahead and tap on next. Now it's asking for an Apple ID verification code that they sent it to my other phone, which is right here, so let me go ahead and enter this in. Give it one second. Okay, terms and condition. You can read through that and then tap on agree. You have to agree to it. Setting up your Apple ID here. Okay, so this window here, express settings. You can continue from here or you can customize settings. I'm just gonna go ahead and just tap on continue from here. Keep your iPhone up to date, tap on continue. Add your credit card to Apple Pay if you wish. You can do this now or you can set it up later or you don't have to set it up at all. I'm gonna go set it up later. Keep everything safe in iCloud. Um, I mean, I would have to buy 50 gigs for 99 cents a month. I can proceed with that or I can go not now. I'm just gonna go not now. I probably don't even need it anyway iCloud keychain, I mean, it's best, I mean, you, you wanna use an iCloud uh, keychain, okay? The keychain will basically be encrypted and it cannot be read by Apple either, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on continue from here. And here's Siri, if you wanna go ahead and set this up and use Siri, you know, hey Siri and so on, I'm gonna go ahead and just set it up later. Screen time, you can go ahead and have that on or off. It, it does waste like uh, more battery juice. I'm just gonna go ahead and set up later in settings. I probably won't even set it up at all. And then your app uh, analytics here, you can share with app developers or you don't, you don't have to share. It's up to you. I'm just gonna go ahead and share it with them. True, to true Tone Display, you can go without it or you can go with it by tapping continue. I'm gonna go with the uh, True Tone Display. Appearance, you want the light, the light theme or appearance or the dark theme, okay? I'm just gonna go with the light right now. Click on continue. Uh, display Zoom, you want it like larger or you want the standard i'm going to go with the standard here that's fine click on continue welcome to iphone go ahead and slide up and oh and there we go nice fresh start now let's go ahead and insert our sim card so here's my sim card i just took out of my other phone now let's go ahead and eject the sim ejection or the uh, sim tray right here go ahead and grab your sim ejection tool that came with your um, iphone mini here it should be in this pamphlet right there. You can see it right there in your box. If you don't have that, you can always use a, a different one from a different phone or like a thin bobby bobby pin or even a thin paper clip. Even the back of a stud earring, as long as it's like thin, it'll work as well. So anyway, we see the uh, seam ejection or the, um, the sim tray right here. Just go ahead and pop the needle where that hole is right here. And then you wanna go ahead and press in a little bit until the lip pops out like this. 
Now let's go ahead and just slide this out. Let's slide it out just like this. I'm gonna put it just like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my SIM card. Now you can see, if you look on here, there's a diagonal slit on the top left-hand side, okay, right up here. And if you look at the SIM card, you should, you should see a diagonal slit on there as well. So it's gonna go in just like this. The metal part is gonna be facing up. So let me go ahead and just place that in just like this. And now I'm gonna go ahead and slide it in here very slowly. And then we're gonna see as soon as it finds my carrier here. So give it one second here. Okay, I see uh, reception bars and I see my T-Mobile carrier right there. So I'm up and running now, but the only thing is I wanna check the settings of my, uh, my SIM card here. So what I wanna do is just go to settings really quickly. And then I'm gonna to go to settings and then I'm gonna go ahead and go to cellular right here, tap on that. And then cellular data is on. Now you see right here, uh, cellular data options, they, they turn my roaming off by default. I wanna go ahead and turn mine on. Um, you may want to check that because some of you guys get charged for data roaming up to a certain point and whatnot. I don't get charged for data roaming, roaming so I always leave mine on uh, data roaming. And you can, you can see other um, settings here too. My Wi-Fi, my network selection is T-Mobile, which is my carrier here. U.S., Wi-Fi calling is on, and so on. Anyway, you're up and running. Good luck.